I was born in a very small town in Montana in the southwestern corner called Butte. And uh, fortunately for me, the Catholic Church, the high school and the grammar school were all within several blocks of where we lived. And uh, everybody went to church, or a good portion of us went to the church, which is right across the street from the high school. But uh, the thing was this, when I got to the high school, I, the brothers themselves, I became very much enamored with their lifestyle. They were very, very similar to us. We were very poor people. My father worked in the mines, but we you know, lived a very you know, a, a nice family life. And the brothers had that same attitude. They were poor, but yet they enjoyed themselves. The brothers in the class were always smiling. And uh, I actually made a conscious decision to join the brothers when I was a freshman in high school within uh, October. And uh, there wasn't any flash of lightning. There wasn't anything that, uh, it was just simply I saw visually people that resembled my family life and I said I can do this. Uh, one thing when I, young men, people ask me what's the th one thing I enjoy about bringing the brothers, my comment would be no matter where I go across the world, if I'm in a brothers community, I'm home. And you feel at home and there's no burdens, no stresses, it, no matter where you are you're at home because you're in a community with other brothers. But I think the community is a very important piece of this. The second piece is our commitment to a preferential option for the poor. Uh, again, that's poverty, chastity, and obedience are the three vows that we take. But the, I believe in my mind that the uh, poverty is, would be the most important. It doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have any money, but it means that you really are uh, dedicated to helping the poor out. I think that's an important aspect of our congregation is being there for people and going to the margins. Being able to work with young adults, not only high school students, more often with college students, where I can be a part of their life. One of my philosophies is promoting vocations isn't going out asking people, do you want to be a brother? But instead is being in their space, encouraging them to continue what they're doing and being a part of that. And eventually they will get to know who you are. I can't tell an individual that you're, you're going to be a religious, you want to join a religious, all I can ask you to do is to look around you, become a part of my activities as I'll be a part of your activities, and see if something, I'm doing something that appeals to what appeals to you. Because it has to be something that's in your heart. It has to be something that uh, you are passionate about. And if you're passionate about what I'm passionate about, then you won't have a problem about considering becoming a religious brother.